Hey YouTube, it's Chrissy, uh, Tron V, Squeaky, Squeaky, how are y'all on look at it? With the new puppy in Star, a lot's been going on today, but I wanted to show the YouTubers as well so y'all could see it. This is Star and her little baby boy, Twinkle. I'm so proud of her. Aww. So Star's had a puppy. She, she actually had, uh, four, but, um, three of them didn't make it, so now it's just turn Twinkle. Thank you again, Donna, by the way, for naming her, tw well, naming him Twinkle. It seems to be suiting, too, because he really does shine out. Um, a few things here. Excuse me, y'all. I just had them. Don't say anything, Chris. I know where they are. Okay. <laughs> so, here's the dealio. I went out to get uh, new glasses the other day. And some of you guys have seen them on um, blog TV. If you've seen me uh, co-host or host in the last uh, two days. Um... Anyways, these are them. They're not uh, real special or nothing like that. They're just glasses. Um, but they do make it a lot easier to see the world at a uh, different perspective. Um, as far as seeing it properly. Um... I don't have a desk to stand on, or I would stand on my desk to remind myself to always look at the world from a different point of view. Instead, I'm going to try to see the world clearly by being able to read everything you guys say in the chat from now on. The other thing is, for anybody else sauce again, it's Beaumont Coffee in its original blend. Okay. Um, let me apologize to Miss Cranky Al if you're watching this for missing your show on Blog TV. I got the notifier, but I was busy in John's room, and I didn't get it till after I left John's, and by then you were already all fair. Um, let me also take a moment to thank Sexy Geeky again for broadcasting Monday night. And, uh, wish all my buddies a happy birthday again, Adam, Jean, Sam. And I have to go to, as far today as to say there are other birthdays coming up. Oh, and Annie, too, of course. There are other birthdays coming up later this week as well. Um, one of the big ones coming up isn't this week, it's next week, July 6th. And uh, if he still watches us, which he might do, to my dad, Charles, happy birthday as of July 6th, as well as to my Aunt Blanche. You guys have always been there for me in my life, and I definitely want to say that I hope your birthday is very special. Um, I want to take a thing a moment to thank my Aunt Kate for all the support that she's given me through YouTube, through Facebook, through everything I've done. Thank you, Aunt Kate, for always being there to support me and everything. Um, actually, a lot of people have been there to support me through everything. Um, my mom, my dad, my second mother, uh, my sisters. All my friends on blog TV, all my family on blog TV, all my friends and family on Facebook that I went to school with, and some of the new friends I met on Facebook that I've met in person through people I went to school with. Let me explain this while I'm thinking about it, y'all. When you look at my Facebook and you see the number of friends I have and you're like, how can you know that many people? Let me tell you a secret. I don't just know them from blog TV, okay? Like I was just saying, that also includes my friends I went to school with, 
a couple of my ex-boyfriends, friends that we made through them, friends I made when I was married to Clay. Um, it's basically 29 years of, uh, well, 29 years and 11 months, hinted, of uh, knowing people and getting to know people. You can get to know a lot of people in 29 years. Um, and that's not even all the people I know. Um, the other thing is, tonight for dinner, I had, uh, what was it, hot dogs and salt and vinegar chips with French onion dip. And, oh, to answer a question somebody asked me the other day, my absolute favorite book in the entire world is The True Confessions of Charlotte Doyle. So that should answer that question. My favorite poem in the world is Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven. My favorite movie of all time is Dead Poets Society. Um, the second runner-up for that, by the way, uh, my second favorite movie in the world would definitely have to be not a movie, but an entire series called Left Behind. Um, not so much the realistic nature of it, but so much as the way that the movie is designed, you actually believe that you're there during everything that's going on. You feel like you're a part of it. Um... Oh, there is a book that's second in the running, by the way, from my favorite of all time, which is, uh, of course, Fahrenheit 451, The Temperature at Which Books Burn. The third after that is The Wish Giver. Not because I have that level of education of reading, which is like a 6th, 7th grade level, but more so because I enjoyed books when I was younger, and now not so much anymore. Um, I used to read a lot of mystery books, the Nancy Drew series, The Hardy Boys, uh, Sweet Valley High. Yes, I admit it, I, I, I liked reading Sweet Valley High. Um, the genres of movies I like, like Disney movies, classical musicals, like Guys and Dolls, Newsies. Now, I know what you're thinking. The Newsies was like 1994, right? That doesn't stop it from being a classic. Um, Hello, Dolly is another classic I enjoyed. Um, anyways, here's the thing. I just gave you a few major facts about me that if you've been paying attention, you would have already known anyway. I just... I, I wanted to reiterate them because people have been asking me these things. So. Oh, and my all-time favorite food. I cannot forget this as long as I live. My all-time favorite food, absolutely, of all, is a pizza, but it's a very special pizza that you can't buy anywhere else in the world. And you can no longer buy it here. Uh, there was this guy called Dave, who is a uh, relation to my Aunt Blanche. And my mother, Wilma. Um, I think it's like their uncle by marriage or something. But Dave and his wife used to have the most awesome pizza shop in Columbus. And my dad, Charles, used to take me and my brother down there off and on. It's actually how my mom and dad met. Uh, Blanche introduced... Well, how, how did that go again? Dave and Dad were friends. Blanche introduced... No, Dave introduced Dad to Blanche. And then Blanche introduced Dad to her sister, Wilma. Uh, that was clear back well before 1990. Um, actually, I think it was 90. I'm not sure. But I know this much. Um, June 21st, 1991, Wilma and Charles got married. So that's the other part of it. 
is uh, not too long ago was their anniversary and this is 2011 so that means 91 to uh, 2000 would have been nine years and then 2000 to 2009 was uh, 18 years to 2011 means 20 years they have been married for 20 years if you do the math that means I was 10 years old when they got married which would have made my baby brother CJ around 7 when they got married um, so now you know a little bit more about me than what you did before. Uh, my hobbies. Somebody asked me about my hobbies as well. I like to draw. I like to paint. I like to write poetry. I like to listen to music. I like mixing music. I like mixing sound clips to make videos. I love to dance. I love to sing. Um, I enjoy building things, like bird houses, boxes, not necessarily that we'll ever have anything in them, it may just be for decoration, but I enjoy doing it. Um, I enjoy looking at hand-blown glass objects, I used to enjoy making bracelets out of hemp rope, things like that. Um. Oh, right, your thought for the day. <laughs> I suppose you probably watched this whole video waiting for that. Your thought for the day is this. If you judge a book by its cover, and the cover is torn at the part that tells you what it's really about, then you're still not going to know unless you read the inside. In other words, if you meet somebody and they're not really themselves because something's wrong, something in their past has torn them, if you judge them by appearance, then you're never going to get to know what they're really like. So this is Squeak saying, remember to feel the love, rock on and pass it on, no matter what even if they're going to hate you for it later. And trust me, they will. Because if you're doing everything right, you're always going to have haters. Peace, y'all. Oh, and fast shout out to uh, Mr. Peter Finn, the fat Aussie bastard. I love you, Pete. And currently disconnected. Um, who else? Oh, shit. Shit. What's his name? Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's his name? Oh, God. Okay, I was going to do a shout-out to this guy, Something Talented. Um, because I've been watching his videos for a way a long time now. Ah! Dangerously Talented! Right! Right! Damn! Uh, the guy's so cool, he has no sign-off. Okay? And, um, Daystorm, uh, 14 Night Owl, um, Blutus Productions, as well as, um, <clears throat> Cranky Owl, uh, Dolly Perro, um, Chef, Chef. I can't think of his... Damn! Scotty, I meant you, but I can't think of... It's something chef or chef... Chefy? Chefy. Chefy123. I will get it right eventually. As well as... Helmonde... Wesley... You know what? Check my subscription list. You guys will find them, okay? Oh, and one last shout-out real fast before it kills me at 15... Lion420, come to the lion's den, watch his videos, and um, the other one that you may not know is the Handy Goddess. If you guys have not seen the Handy Goddess, you need to.